Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel, and uh, this is something interesting about um, anybody that is a developer, anybody that needs to have some of the uh, Linux tools that they might have to use within Windows. There is uh, an update of the uh, WSL of the Windows subsystem for Linux. So. Until now, the only version of Windows 10 that had the Windows subsystem for Linux 2 was the uh, May 2020 update. And the reason behind this is that it's the version that they chose to actually in install the real Linux kernel that they needed to have. In the first version of the Windows subsystem for Linux, what happened is it was mostly emulation here it's a real core so it is much better and faster and has more performance also has more options including uh, options with the outside world and having you know file system work and all of that uh, even actually having in the uh, the operating system its own um, place for file explorer where you can actually use file explorer to share files and all of that so that was only for the May 2020 update until now. But in the next few weeks, there will be an update. If you're on 1903 or 1909, which is a big majority of you, you will finally have the possibility to use the Windows subsystem for Linux 2. It is going to be imported and updated to you in your uh, older versions. So that's good news if you're a developer. If you started using the uh, Windows subsystem for Linux, you will have that possibility. So that's pretty cool. And also there's uh, something I'm looking at because apparently there's a, uh, a version of uh, a Linux distribution with graphic user interface that needs actually WSL2 to actually work, but that exists and you can actually import that and have kind of a Linux distribution running within this. Uh, I am actually going to look at it and uh, see um, if I want to install it and, and show you guys at some point. But uh, that's, I think, good news to see that Microsoft is actually going to uh, import WSL2 to even 1903 and 1909. For those that wonder what this is, well, WSL is a Linux command line possibility so that means that you can actually install this in windows and it's not a distro so you don't expect to have you know a graphic interface like a uh, linux mint or whatever when you're running this it's really command line based mostly but anybody that is doing uh you know any developers anybody doing software or even um, windows users that are taking care of Linux servers, for example. They need to have Linux tools to run regularly. Before WSL, what happened is you needed a Linux machine and you, ne you needed maybe a Windows machine. With Windows Subsystem for Linux, you can do and use these tools within Windows without having to boot into a Linux distro which is really, really nice uh, for a lot of people that are dabbling in, um, you know, the uh, world of Linux um, and, and need some of the tools of Linux. So WSL2 coming to a uh, 1903 or 1909 PC in the next few weeks. Um, I believe you will have to reinstall or install WSL2 um, to actually have it running. If you enjoyed my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.